What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Thai Talk and today we're going to be talking about intake manifolds and we're going to be talking about carbon fiber reeds. So let's get into this. So guys, as you can see, I've got a lot of different things going on here. So I think we'll start with this one. This is a stock reed block for the big black TWH manifold which I have replaced with carbon fiber reeds, as you can see. These are a lot thicker than the original reeds that are in there, and of course carbon fiber, so a bit more durable, and they also spring back a lot better than the standard, uh, which I guess are maybe fiberglass uh, reeds. Please leave a comment. So what I think we'll do is we'll measure up the carbon fiber reeds versus the standard reeds and we'll do a little comparison. Okay, so guys, as you can see, we have the three different selections of reeds available for the big black manifold from, uh, from TWH. We've got some metal reeds here. I've never tried these before, so I don't, I'm not really too sure how good they are or not. Um, the standard, what I think of fiberglass reeds, and the upgraded carbon fiber reeds. Um, these come from a local guy, he makes these uh, to order pretty much, you just send him the specifications, dimensions and whatnot, and he'll cut like a big sheet of it. So I've had a few of these made up. So let's look at the thickness, I've got a digital caliper here, so we'll just hit zero to make sure that, so let's just check the thicknesses first of all. So this is uh, 0.15 millimeters. So that is the metal reed. This is what I think is the fiberglass reed. So this is 0.3 millimeters thickness. And the carbon fiber reed, that's 0.353635 millimeters. So of course that's going to be a lot stronger, a lot more durable, and I think with it being thicker, um, it's going to it's going to snap back a lot better and make a better seal. Now, as I say, these ones uh, were custom made by a local guy. Uh, although on close inspection, it seems they don't actually seal up exactly. I have done like a reverse pressure check, and when there's uh, pressure pushing against these, it does seal up from what it seems to be pretty nice. Now, as you can see, I've also added to the stock reed cage, um, I believe it's six millimeters, 6.1 millimeter, so around six millimeters. And what this is doing is achieving a longer intake uh, distance, which can help with uh, low end power. So this is a pretty nice upgrade. Uh, if anyone's interested, I can supply these parts. So get in touch if you're interested. Carbon fiber reeds are a great upgrade if anybody's interested in getting the most out of their engine. You know, it's not gonna make you have like a huge increase in power or anything, but all these little changes do help uh, to improve the performance of your, of your scooter. So I would say this is a good choice for someone on a bit of a lower budget who wants to, um, to go with a carbon fiber setup. Okay, so next I thought we'd take a look at this. This is a really new product here in Thailand. Um, it's made again by a local guy. Uh, you can see got a pretty interesting texture and we're gonna do a little comparison with the, with the TWH. Big black manifold there. So as I say, this was made by a local guy. Uh, the reason why he's made that is because if you buy the TWH uh, stroker manifold, um, the V-Force blocks, these V-Force reed blocks, they don't fit directly in. You have to, as you can see in this one, I've cut out loads of meat around here, hogged it all out uh, so that the V-Force reed cage will just drop in like that. Now with this one, you don't need to do any of that. It's already pre-designed to take V-Force 3 and V-Force 4. So let's just open this up and, and actually take a look at that. Okay, here we go. That's open now. 
So as you can see, the V-Force block drops straight in. Same with the V-Force 4, just drops straight in. With this one, it does not, it's a real pain to, to gut it all out. Um, I did one a while ago, uh, which turned out really nice, but I was sort of going as minimum as I could just to make sure that we don't break through here because there's quite a lot of material that needs to be cut out. If I'm not wrong, I believe it's about two millimeter, so one millimeter either side. Now with this one, I decided I wanted to go as much as possible, like hog it out, port it out as wide as possible to open up the size of the intake. And I actually went too far, as you can see here. This is like a, a epoxy, hard epoxy, two-part mix that I had to cover the holes where I broke through. Now, whether or not that's gonna seal it up, I don't know, but we'll find out at some point. I will test this out. Again, you can see this is all ported out in here. Um, wait, let's not, let's not sidetrack here. We're looking at the silver one. Okay, so this is the silver um, aluminum CNC uh, manifold made here in Thailand. As I say, it fits the V-Force 3 and 4 perfectly. Um, as far as I can tell, the TWH and this Thai made uh, manifold, the top parts are exactly the same. But what is different are the bottom parts. Now, as you can see, between the TWH and the Thai made one, the opening on the bottom is very different. Now, of course, I've opened this up two millimeters. So let's actually uh, compare these two here. So this one, the Thai made one is 43.92 and the TWH is almost 50. So there is a big difference in between the opening of the tie made manifold and the opening of the TWH manifold. And you can also see from this that on the TWH manifold, this um, part here kind of swoops downwards, whereas the tie made one actually has a lip here, like almost a ramp. Now, I'm not sure what the point of that was. I guess it's to direct the flow of the air and fuel mix into the manifold. This is the main difference I found in between the two manifolds is this area here. Um, and of course, the size of the opening. So what this actually means is if you want to run a larger manifold on, for example, let's say uh, 80cc, um, this is something that you could use. Uh, these ones, the TWH one, um, it's really only necessary for a much larger build like a 125cc or maybe 90cc. Whereas this one, it can be used on smaller builds so you can get that cool look and a bit of extra performance. And it's a really nice bit of kit. I mean, it, it's really impressive that somebody was able to make this. I mean, the guy, he doesn't have a huge factory or anything like that. He's just super passionate about the scene, wanting to bring new parts up. This is something I've noticed in Thailand that is really common, is small machine shops coming out with homemade parts like this. Okay, so let's move on to the TWH black manifold. Here it is, as you can see, I've messed about with this one quite a lot, so it's not exactly the best example. So what I've changed about this is this is the uh, large carburetor boot or a flange for the, the top part of the manifold. Um, and I've actually uh, opened this area out quite a lot because when you put this flange on the standard one, there's a bit of a lip in there. So I've just ground the lip out. I mean, maybe I can open this so you can you can see a little bit more so as you can see grinded all this area to get it back to metal i think that'll seal better and of course you can see this bit is all grinded out probably by about three millimeters i would, I would think so let's open this up as well i guess you guys can see what i've done on the inside okay that's all the bolts out so let's take a look inside so as you can see i've also rounded the edge of this off I've sort of tried to match that space, you know, and you can see now um, exactly what I've done here. So as I say, you want about a millimeter either side taking off. 
to fit the, the manifold in. And even now, I mean, it sort of gets stuck about here. That's where the spacer comes in. Of course, you could grind it out a bit more there and it would it would go in, but obviously this is a bit more bit more friendly to the to the the lower block the lower part of the manifold so that's that really i mean uh that's your twh stroker manifold with v force 4 oh yes i know what i wanted to do let's actually compare um the v force 4 and v force 3 reads cuz i think that's something interesting now of course these are not real, you know, these are a lot, lot cheaper than the regular ones, but I see a lot of guys using them here. So this is the, the two different reads. There's the V-Force 3 read, and there's the V-Force 4 read. So here we have the V-Force 3 going in now, 0.3 millimeters, and the V-Force 4 read, 0.42. See if there's any difference in between the two sides. So 0.43. So this is obviously by far the thickest of all the reeds we've sort of like taken a look at today. Even the the um, custom made ones here in Thailand. These are by far the thickest. So certainly for a much more powerful engine. Right, in fact, there is one other thing I wanted to show you guys out there as well. This is for the regular TWH manifold. Here's the original reeds for it. So let's check these out. 0.36, which is pretty thick, really. So let's check out these again. They're made by the same guy who does these. I had some RRGS GSO carbon fiber reeds for the regular TWH manifold, and I gave him the dimensions from that, and they were a bit thin. They were like 0.3 millimeters. So I asked him to do uh, a little a little thicker. So what we have here is 0.36. These are also a nice way to upgrade your regular size black manifold. All these small things help towards uh, making your scooter, your racing project, work to 100% of its potential. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys in this video. It's nothing super interesting, but just going over some parts. Maybe you guys have considered wanting to buy this kind of thing and, you know, have a closer look at it. They're actually pretty good. I know a lot of people are really against the fake V-Force read blocks. And another thing is the guy that makes all this stuff, he can also make replacement reads. So yeah, of course, leave a comment if you have any questions. Feel free to get in touch. Uh, as you know, I have a Thai Talk shop as well. There's going to be all sorts of new stuff coming to that soon. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and... Yeah, thanks for joining me again, and I hope this has been informative for you guys. See you next time.